We start with a look at snowfall totals from today. Jim and Eaton did report about one and three quarters of an inch, and Jim and Beaver Creek said two inches there. We did get a report from the National Weather Service of 3.0 inches in Xenia coming in, in on, as the most on our map. Bell Fountain picking up 2.4 inches as well. Live Doppler 2 HD clearing for the most part. We still could have a few very isolated light snow across the area, but overall our skies are clearing and the temperature is dropping. So we do have a low winter weather index for tonight for some slick spots, especially by tomorrow morning. There is likely going to be a layer of ice on some of our roadways, especially bridges and overpasses. Use extreme caution. You can see here on our bright and heating and cooling systems camera that the road is wet and our temperatures are dropping extremely fast. But the road service temperature is trying to hold on about freezing, if not above freezing. So we'll keep a close eye on these temperatures and our roadways overnight and into tomorrow morning. For the most part, our actual air temperature is well below freezing. It's 25 degrees in Dayton, 25 in Xenia, 23 there in Wilmington, and 20 in Wapakoneta. They're starting to see clear skies up to the north, so those temperatures dropping a little bit quicker than us here in Dayton and further to the south. You can see throughout the night, we are expected to hit the teens for a low temperature by 3 a.m. We should be seeing some teens on the thermometer. I'm going 14 degrees for your low tonight with clearing skies and calm ish winds. There, there will be some breezy wind gusts at times, but it should stay about 15 miles per hour. Tomorrow it'll be cold and sunny, only a high of 24 degrees with a west wind of 10 to 15 miles per hour. This cold is all due to Arctic air being brought into the area. It's going to stick around through Tuesday and into Wednesday before it does start to clear out and we see a little bit of relief heading into next weekend. But first, these are your morning lows the next four days. Notice a single digit low is going to be possible really on Tuesday and Wednesday. So let's break that down. In March, the cold, this could be the coldest temperature since March 6, 2015. That's the last time we saw a single digit low in the month of March. They're not that common. Out of about 135 years of record keeping, only 28% of those marches have recorded a single digit low and the coldest March day ever did drop into the negatives that was back in 1980. The next 10 days high temperatures going to be very cold as well. We're looking at a 20 degree difference between where we're kind of expected to be for this time of year with an average of 44 and a low I mean a high of you want to say that's the low but a high of 24 degrees there on your Monday. 20% chance for snow on Tuesday, so we could see some isolated light snow once again in the area. Snow does return as we head to Thursday. 32 degrees, your high temperature there. We start to warm up as we look ahead to the weekend, but that warm up comes along with some rain.